Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new on this channel, we are the Ari Makono Sinners. And on this channel, we talk about faith in Christ Jesus, we talk about family, we talk about lifestyle, we talk about parenting, relationships. We might talk about fashion at some point, even though wifey loves to disagree with that. We might. Maybe I'm not saying we will, we might. And we'll also talk about finance and uh, money making tips at some point. So, welcome to the channel. You'd love it here. Baby, take us away. Okay, so today's topic is quite a juicy one. It's yep. a topic or a question that a lot of our followers have been asking us in the DMs, among other questions, but we'll just single this out to yeah. talk about today. And it's about the time duration to be in a relationship. <laughs> so, since we're talking about timelines, let's just talk go back to one other very common question that we get mm -hmm. which is when or at what age one can enter into a relationship is there an age to start a relationship is there an age that is too old too young that kind of stuff first off i don't think that there is an age there is a particular age say maybe 25 or 18 or 16 yeah that you should enter into a relationship but one thing i think that really matters um that should really be in consideration is maturity very important now some people can be 30 years and not mature like i know i know some of them like that i also know some people who are in their 20s and, and are not mature and i also know some people who are 14, teenagers 14 16 basically. that when you pick their brain you can see that okay they, they've got something in there like they are responsible so let's even talk about the word maturity uh -huh. um a lot of people use the word maturity some people even attribute it to colors some people attribute it like, to that, that color is very mature yes because even when i asked myself what is the real meaning of maturity i couldn't really come up with a definition so i was bouncing off ideas with my husband and we came up with a definition of course there are definitions online i'm just gonna yeah. i'm just gonna there, read two. there are dictionary definitions and yes maybe so, you could just get us okay one or two so uh let's start with cambridge dictionary cambridge dictionary cambridge cambridge yeah. so cambridge, cambridge. It's pronounced cambridge. cambridge not cambridge Cam cambridge hey okay <laughs> <laughs> so cambridge hi it sounds so weird in my mouth cambridge dictionary says that maturity is the state of being mentally and emotionally well developed and therefore responsible miriam webster says maturity is the quality or state of being mature as just using the same word to define it but especially full development i love the first definition that's the cambridge definition i think that definition is close to what we came up with when we yes. were having our conversations the definitions have something in common which is just being fully developed yeah from what we came up the both of us we said that the true test of maturity is knowing yourself uh -huh. taking responsibility for your life and working with the highest level of clarity you have per time. time i'm going to say that again the true test of maturity is knowing yourself taking responsibility for your life and working with the highest level of clarity you have per time what i would um say as concerns this definition or this truth of maturity that we came up with would be um the last part working with the highest level of clarity that you have per time so what is clarity clarity is that state of knowing what to do when you are mature you are somebody who is responsible for yourself yeah. responsible to do that which you should be doing yeah so people who are in that class where they know what they should be doing and they are doing it we can call them mature yeah. because these people already have a direction a path in life that they're already uh threading so let's let's take this personal at what age can you say you know what you're doing all right so for me interesting question i knew what i was doing from a very young age that's the honest truth and the reason why that was so for me was because my parents instilled this uh level i'm a firstborn and you know as african firstborns you you grow up very quickly mm -hmm. you're leading yeah. you're leading younger ones so you grow up very quickly ones. so for me i i would say i became mature at the age of 14 15 because i already knew what i was doing i knew what to do and i was doing it basically yeah. so yeah what, what would you say it was for you when i got to the place of knowing myself and knowing what i ought to have been doing was mm. from the age of 17 17 wow yeah 
So, uh, because I think it's not as early as yours, because I was not the first born. I was the third born, and I was supposed to be the last born, but uh, Stephanie G happened. <laughs> and I didn't really like that. I didn't really like having a younger sibling after me, because I was supposed to be the last born. I was already tre being treated as the last born. So, uh -huh. I started taking responsibility for myself from the age of 17, knowing myself and knowing what I should have been doing, because, like I said, I found God at... It was around that 16, 17 age that I found the Lord for myself, mm -hmm. not just because it's for my parents or what people around me wanted me to do, yeah. right? So the question you're going to ask yourself before you enter into a relationship or before you decide to commit to a person is if you know yourself, mm -hmm. if you know the, the direction your life is going, because the man that doesn't know the way or the direction that his life is going can't necessarily lead Cannot, a woman cannot yeah lead cannot woman. lead a cannot woman. Lead a woman and the same way a woman that you know doesn't necessarily know where she's going she can't you know she could jump in the wagon with the wrong yes man. with the wrong man why are you why are you helping me see what i want to say because we are one okay <laughs> thank you Sha. okay so she can make the wrong decision is that it's easy for her to make the wrong decision yeah. and we know that in the the way god planned marriage to be is that the woman submits to her husband and so her husband will lead her in every regard. But it doesn't really make sense for a woman to jump into a relationship with a man who might be going to a different direction from where she's going. Yeah. So you have to know what she wants. You have to know yourself. You have to know what you should be doing. You should actually be on the road of doing what you should be doing. Okay, so that's that for the age. Is there any other thing you want to uh, add? Maybe just to add a, a bit to that. We're not saying the moment you have clarity, the moment you are mature the moment you're responsible you should jump into a relationship because that may not be right for the level or for the stage uh, of life you are in at that time mm -hmm. the point is to know that you are ready to get into a relationship is that you have clarity and you're mature basically so whatever age that meets you that's the right age for you yeah. so on to the next thing how long should you date the way i like to grade uh dating durations i like to grade it into short term uh long term and balanced term huh. yeah those are she, words she that have, i coined you should you have you should to just notes. just things down yeah you have to just things, things down, down. just things down i like categorize short-term dating to be i categorize it uh, I, I, the the timeline that fits into that category would be anywhere from six months to a year not the people we're not talking to people who just want to date and see how it goes no it's dating with the intention i think maybe of, that's what we should have even talked about very from the very first time okay a dating or being in a relationship with someone is deliberate is a deliberate step towards marriage it's a deliberate step towards marriage it doesn't mean that a person you date must be the person you marry but what we're saying is you go into your dating relationship with the intention. idea with the intention that it's for marriage that it's god's springboard to get married yeah now something may happen something may reveal that you guys are incompatible and if and, and, and if something reveals that you guys are incompatible it's fine break up as they say in relationship and marriage circles a broken relationship is oh, better than, it's better than, than a, a failed than a broken marriage something like that now back to the three categories short term would be six months to a year long term would be anywhere from three years and above balanced term would be anywhere from one year to two years of dating okay. the reason i'm categorizing it that way is because these different categories or this different duration speaks to different kinds of people however there are there are many exceptions now as the guy you must have a means of livelihood because you're living in every yes regard. because you're leading in every regard we're not saying the person you are dating you now assume the role of her father and be paying her school fees be buying her phones be no no that's not what we're saying but you give you give some things it's normal right short term would be for people who are already mature it's obvious that they are mature yeah they, have they a, don't have time to waste they don't, sharp, have, they don't have time to waste there's no time to be beating around <laughs> the bush oh, yeah, oh, yeah. these people are already going into the dating relationship with the solid intention of marriage yeah. so dating for them is let me get to know you let's find our compatibility and adaptability Once. then we can proceed into yeah, marriage yeah. because the truth is even if you date somebody for 10 years you cannot fully know that person even for those who are married they are still learning and there are discovering. Still layers that there are still layers that are, that, are, that are opening up. Yeah. The balance them, balance them, like we said, would be anywhere from uh, one year to two years. That's like the ideal. So 
you are not necessarily in a rush but you also know that you should not overdo things you're in your 20s and early 30s kind of thing so that's very balanced it gives you more time to learn yourself yes. to relax no pressure you know each other i think that's like the most recommended that's like the most recommended then there is long-term dating mm -hmm. and long-term dating is what we did <laughs> Of course, there are reasons for dating long term. There, yeah, are, there, reasons. there are reasons for short term, there are reasons for balanced term, and there are reasons for long term. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The reasons we have for why our relationship was a long term relationship was because our relationship started in school. I was in my penultimate year, and she was in her second year in the university yeah. when we started our relationship. So uh, you do not expect that we would get married in school. Yeah. right so we had to wait for some stages of our lives to play out ideally i would say that's one of the best times to get into a relationship <laughs> but then you are putting them into a long term we're advising people to go into a long-term relationship technically okay. i mean it's just easy to find man or find woman <laughs> <laughs> in the school environment. when you should be reading your books when you i should be on your textbook and your and your that's materials why we, we talked about maturity mm. and clarity okay so being mature means i was sent to school to read i was sent to school to graduate with a decent result mm -hmm. right so i know what i should be doing i have clarity mm -hmm. then my maturity is manifesting that i am doing what i should do because i'm responsible right you can be very mature you can have a lot of clarity already while you're in school like i did like you did i was already very mature i already knew what i was going to be doing mm -hmm. and i was doing it already yeah. right so i i i think those are the three different categories I'll categorize that dating terms into. Okay. Short term, long term, balanced Balance. term. I think there are pros and cons for all the categories that you have mentioned. True, true. I think we should just even look at all of them one by one, not okay. just the long term. Let's talk about the short term category. Yeah. Um, people that are in a relationship from six months to one year. I don't think that you know they get to know their partner as much as they would if they were in a relationship for two years or five years mm. so there might still be a lot of gray areas because it, it takes time to know a person right very true you can't just if it, it's not just about how much time you guys spend together because some people can be really tricky i don't want to use the word tricky that they only put up a front with you and i think it's really easy for you to put up a front at the early stage of yes at the early, relationships. The, and the early stage of relationship will be from that six months right yeah six months to a year so you're still at the early stage of your relationship and you're jumping into getting married to that person there are still a lot of things that are not really clear we would assume with you between you and your partner because it's, at, at that it's stage, easier for you to to put up a front for that short period of time than for you to do it and, for two and years even if it's not a front right at that stage the emotions are still high yes yeah, so you guys so are still there's a lot of lovey-dovey you're still running on butterflies yes, so much. yes at that early stage of the relationship because of the emotion because of the love it's called mask certain things yeah. so it could make you overlook certain things because the love is shocking you mm -hmm. the pro in that sense is that before you know you're married yeah you know, know no no time for let me sample this guy <laughs> let me sample this girl you just go straight you're married balanced term pros and cons hmm. what are the pros and balance term? the pros are that you get to know your partner decently well mm -hmm. right and you have a decent amount of time to prepare for a wedding everything eventually. everything is just decent, decent, decent. everything is just moderate it should be, it should be. So like I, the standard i don't i don't really know if there are cons with that I, no. I don't think there are cons no, with that. It just so. it just looks ideal, appropriate. appropriate yeah. So for a long term relationship, let's go there. Gang, 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 gang. Let's do about Netflix. Uh, this thing. Ba -gum. Ba -gum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's for the pros. What are the advantages of being in long term? You get to know your partner inside the most. out. Maybe remove inside out. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> remove inside out for people i mean with your mind though you get you get to know your partner really well you get to know the mind of your partner the mentality of your partner not the physical state of your partner uh -huh. strongly against sex before marriage premarital sex premarital sex should we talk about that i think boundaries setting boundaries in a relationship will be another topic okay all right one of the pros of 
uh, that long-term relationship would be that you get to know your partner really well and you much more than knowing your partner you also get to know your partner's family mm -hmm. because eventually you get absorbed into your, your partner's family your partner will also get absorbed into your family so you guys just get to know yourselves yeah okay, so the cons there is a lot of temptation that comes in when you are dating someone for One so many years because time. you are attracted to this person mm -hmm. physically attracted to this person so i've seen it for such a long stretch can be really draining honestly we've experienced that and it was it was not easy like it's it's something it takes a lot of strength from you it's a lot, lot of strength mental a lot of emotional power, a lot of it takes a lot of everything yeah basically because it's not like you are just shutting down your your feelings or the there is no switch the, <laughs> there is no exactly all all that's why the bible says flee <laughs> <laughs> Flee fornication, you know they they know they form strong man or oh, all that kind of things. You flee, you run away from fornication. So basically, temptation to you know fall into fornication is really really strong. Yeah. Stronger than when you are in a short term or a what do you call it again? Balanced term. Balanced relationship. term relationship with the person. Another thing would be still along the lines of uh, crossing the lines as per premarital sex and all that. You almost begin to see yourself as husband and wife no <laughs> you are not husband and wife yet until the parents or the people responsible for the lady give her to you she's not your wife so all those my wife my husband it's not true <laughs> but that's one thing that gradually comes with long-term relationships yeah. then before you know the sex happens a child comes two children come then they begin to live as though they are already married mm -hmm. so long-term relationships especially for people that do not have things really defined for them it's not advisable i know a lot of ladies want to ask this question yeah what do you do in a case where you are in a relationship and the guy is taking so much time he has not proposed to you he's not talking about marriage what do you do in that situation so you know from the onset we said you go into a dating relationship as a child of god as a christian right you go into a dating relationship with the intention of getting married yeah. now if you're in a relationship that is just uh, let's just be seeing how it goes let's be seeing how it pans out the chances are you are you are in one chance you are dating <laughs> yourself right so this is it a guy that is responsible a guy that wants to settle down will not waste time talking about the fact that he wants to marry you but you know there are some guys that are genuinely not ready yet that's that's also understandable if a guy is not ready to get married yet the decent thing to do would be i'm not ready to get married yet and this is why okay it could be that guys consume the fact that i don't have enough money and that's a valid concern that's okay. a valid that's a valid reason but i think in our previous video where we were talking about how to get married uh how, how we got married on, on the budget, the budget you don't need all the money in the world to get married yeah. as our people here say if you can feed yourself and you can feed another mouth you have shelter then you can get married we're not saying you should get married we're saying that's already an environment where you can get married and progress from there so some people we can say some people have unrealistic goals set for getting married mm -hmm. right so they want to have all the money in the world because they want to have the biggest wedding or they want to have the wedding that is the talk of the town before they get married another person would come with a talk of the town wedding and yours would be forgotten yeah another person would come with a talk of the town wedding and reception and yours would be forgotten so it's it's if, if let's, that's, just, let's just basically refer them to our our former video so yeah you can you, you can just so click not too long you can just click that point the video will be there or we would also link the video in the description, description of this there. yeah we'll link it there so you can just watch it now back to dating durations you know it's also important to understand that you're dating somebody does not mean you are engaged to the person yeah so let's talk about engagement okay now so what do you think what do you think we've talked about long term short term uh mid term, do you mean term? balanced term. balanced term relationship say now so, mid term now primary school <laughs> how long do you think a woman should wear an engagement ring one year max okay one, one year, year max yes so especially for those who have dated for um who have done eternal dating like we did mm. if you propose to a woman or you get her engaged within a year you should get married 
because you have already expressed it in clear terms you're the one i want to marry and she has accepted the fact that you want to marry her so you guys go ahead and begin to work out the wedding modalities the marriage modalities to lady of the rings. and the and lady. yeah don't, don't make her lady of the rings bro <laughs> at what point can you say eh, eh, i'm done you have wasted too much time the point you can say you are done is when there is no longer clarity coming from the guy uh. so it could even be two months into the engagement as long as you don't seek clarity the person you're going to marry is the person that will lead you yeah. is the person you would submit to if the person is playing mini mana, he maybe just give you a ring, maybe just take and take whole body first. Ah, no. But ideally, I would say one year. So we, I, I proposed to my wife on the thirtieth of December, twenty twenty, right? That proposal was we were supposed to talk about it in our previous video. My wife said she was going to talk about it, but one just let another and she forgot. <laughs> our proposal was just a formality for us. Yeah reason being that we did it for doing sake yeah we did it for doing sake because we knew we were going to get married of course our families had already started talking about it our parents had met not for the introduction introduction but our parents just knew each, each, each other and they knew what we were doing and they knew where we were going to with our relationship mm -hmm. so we got i proposed to her on the 30th of december 2020 we got married on the 26th of august 2021 so that falls within a year falls within a year actually i wanted us to get married i think in june yeah but things did not pan out as we expected so one thing led to another and we mm -hmm. moved it to august. august and by the grace of god we got married in august so i think that 12 month duration is enough time to make plans on how to run your wedding again mm -hmm. if you don't have the money for a big societal wedding you don't need it but if you have the money and you want to run it with all pleasure go ahead go ahead so I think that's my take on uh the length of an engagement so i also want to add this and um, i know that some ladies are in some positions that okay they are in a dating relationship or in a relationship with a person yeah and he's not forthcoming with any plans he's not bringing up the plan of the engagement or getting married to you and you just want to ask him is it right to ask a guy to marry you personally i don't think that it is right to ask a guy to marry you i know this is very controversial it's it just tells something it's like you are the one pushing the button in the setting of the way a family or a marriage should be the husband takes the lead the wife follows so if you are trying to take the lead it's like you are bringing this masculine energy so it's basically like you're going to make yourself the leader of that relationship so your man doesn't really know what he wants because even if he says yes it's almost like he's not ready to ask for the marriage in the first place so i believe that the men should make the first move and if they're not making the first move it's possible that you can bring it up yes you should be able to bring it yeah. up and ask you should be able to yeah. ask questions yeah. basically okay how far where is this relationship going what are we doing what are we doing well she are not no. just looking and let's seeing. let's assume that this for people who did not start their dating relationship with the intention yes okay that if you do not start with the intention or for some people they would start with the intention but then as he's going i think the guy has forgotten that he said he wanted to marry them yeah because you know some men promise and then before you know the promise turns to my dear five years yes eight and, years. and for those men i think i understand pressure <laughs> pressure they want to make i don't money. understand no <laughs> you must be clear <laughs> you must be clear and it's not fair to waste a woman's time no it's not we ladies we have a biological clock we do we lose how many thousand eggs every year or every month i don't even know we I don't, don't, know we don't that. have the data that, that, but, but, but but that's true but we lose eggs as time goes on and it becomes harder to conceive when it gets to a certain age so ladies don't have all that time as men do so i want to say you should take the bull by the horn yeah but when i say that i don't mean that you should ask him to marry him mm -hmm. like the way some of those other ladies were proposing to their husbands i mean that you should ask him questions what are we doing where are we Get right clarity. now at what point are we in our relationship when are you going to be ready to ask me to marry you like those questions are very important mm -hmm. so if you're not asking and is he saying well well i think we're already four years we're counting four years five years in that relationship and he's doing well 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 please my sister you know what to do you it is know. not well <laughs> it is not well i think it's already clear you it's know not well. I, I believe that a lot of ladies actually always know what to do but they are so scared to do them 
just scared, just scared, and also considering the investment they have put yeah. into those relationships. You know, life is a balance of investments, financial investments, emotional investment. So when when something is not really looking as it ought to, one of the reasons why people find it difficult to just make the right decision is because they're considering their investment. Wow, I've been with this guy for four years. Maybe the guy was not even really gallant. By gallant, I mean he was not very financially you stable. Built him so you guys have extent. worked together. You've but given him still ideas. Not about marriage. The guy has maybe gotten a decent apartment he has gotten a car everybody is stable you it's not like you are not doing anything but you also feel like you have been invested in his growth mm. right just walking away sometimes might like seem difficult harder. but then my sister it's, it's for the your right own thing. good it's, it's for right your thing. own good it's the best thing for you if he really wants you or if he doesn't want you to walk out in that relationship he will take the initiative he will do the right thing yeah because i know this this thing happens but after some people have been in a long-term relationship with a guy and they break up before you know six months later they are married somebody else it just shows it just goes to show that this person really did not intend to marry you at all uh. right so just do it for your own good for your mental health for yourself basically and finally to the brothers you don't need to have made all the money i'm emphasizing this because i see this as a very common problem from the uh young men i counsel with from the people i speak with I see this as a major problem you, you do not need to have made all the money to be able to decide that this is the person you want to marry money is not the factor that decides who you should marry yeah. money is not the factor is money important very important but it's not the deciding factor so make your make your intentions clear nothing is as beautiful as being clear about what you should be doing and what you want and i have to say this. yes there yes, are lots of people that date people they don't want to marry why again the people we're making this video for right christians are christians yeah. so we're not making this video for players but if you're a player and you want to repent please this repent. is an opportunity for you to repent receive the lord jesus into your heart and it will repent. change you repent because please. there are lots of things that we did not mention yeah. in this video but because of time we want to make this as short as possible if you have any other questions you can always let us know you drop it in the comment yes, section please. tell us what you learned let's 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 pray for people in relationships that are seeking they're seeking clarity from the lord because the next step to take in their relationship would be when they have clarity they can make the right decision so father in the name of jesus christ mm -hmm. we pray that as many are watching as many who are watching these videos that are seeking clarity as to next steps to take in their dating relationship in their engagement relationship i ask that you cause them to come into wisdom mm -hmm you cause them to come into clarity yeah. that the right steps they need to take the right decisions they need to make they have the courage to make those decisions in the name of jesus yeah. decisions that will be for the betterment of their lives and their destinies in jesus name we have prayed amen, amen. and i'm just i'm just being led to pray for someone okay. who feels like her time has been wasted oh man take over yes. um the lord is leading me in my heart to pray for you um you might have come out of a long-term relationship that you were hoping that was going to lead to something but then it ended up not going as planned and you are feeling shattered oh. you're feeling abandoned oh, but the lord is Jesus. saying that i will put peace in your heart and i will yes. bring that you have entered a new season into your life yes. that you feel like this part like um, um there was something that left you or there was a big chunk of your life mm. that has been wasted no the lord is saying that i have, yeah, you have, that you have entered into a new season of your life you have been restored yes it's almost like a load or a lump being removed from you your body like a cancer being removed from your body and you the lord restored. is saying that he has brought you into a new place Amen. a new place Amen. a new place and it's only going to be from glory to glory Amen. so all that you think you have lost will just be like nothing Amen. because of where he is taking you to you have been restored amen 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 and we there are open doors there are open doors there are open doors for you you meet the right people yes. at the right time yes. in the name of jesus yes. amen yes. thank amen. you precious father thank you lord glory glory and honor be to your Hallelujah. holy name thank Hallelujah. you for our viewers they are blessed the works of their hands are blessed yeah. their partners are blessed in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen, amen. all right guys 
thank you so much if you stuck to the end of this video we we really want to appreciate you thank we, you we, we trust that you have been blessed we trust that you have been inspired god bless you so see you on the next video bye ciao, bye, ciao. <laughs>